Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about uh, proportional relationships. This is section 3.1 in your book. The example that we're given here is 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. And in 1870, the French writer Jules Verne published the book 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. It's one of the most popular um, science fiction novels ever written. One definition of a league is that one league um, equals three miles. And so the problem, I guess, that we're, that we're thinking about here is, is what? If one league is three miles and 20,000 leagues, how do we make that leap? Okay, and so it's a, little bit, it's a little bit simplistic if we're just thinking about it in terms of that. But when we're exploring proportional relationships, really we're doing things that might seem just simplistic to us or like multiplication, but really they have a deeper meaning. So let's explore this. Uh, just how far is 20,000 leagues according to this, this question, okay? And so if we were to make a chart, if we were to make a chart, and kind of like we did in class when we were talking about the, uh, the movie tickets and we, we looked at the different movie revenues, what question are we asking? Well, if I've got 20,000 leagues, how many miles is that? Just kind of like we asked if we sold $2 billion worth of, t worth of tickets, how many tickets was that? Well, we worked backwards there, so now we're going to work forward this way. And so if 1 is 3, then 2 would be 6. Okay, so 2 times 3 would be 6. 6 would be, so it would be 6 times 3, it would be 18 miles. 12 is 36, so what's 20,000? Well, obviously we get our unit is 3 to 1, so we have 60,000 miles. So it's going to be 60,000 miles. We're setting up these ratios, okay? So one league is equal to three miles. Well, two leagues would be equal to six. Three would be nine. Okay, so three over one equals nine over three. 2 over 1 equals 6 over 2. Sorry, equals 6 over 3. One over one equals three over three. And so we're always taking our number of league, number of miles divided by three to get our leagues. Proportional relationships are important because they give us an idea that things are regular. So, for example, when we have um, some things like price you get paid per hour to work, so hourly work. Okay, so that would be, you know, you get paid $8.50 an hour. That's a proportional relationship because it's per you know, it's, it's per one, okay? And so when we're looking at proportional relationships, we're talking about things that occur regularly, okay? They occur regularly. Like up here, we had one league is three miles. That's a regular thing. So just when, when you get up to 20,000 leagues, it doesn't all of a sudden jump up to, you know, four miles per league. It's one league is three miles, okay? So hourly work is that way. Here's an example of a job. Megan earns $12 an hour at her part-time job. Show that the relationship between the amount she earned and the number of hours she worked is a proportional relationship. Then write an equation for the relationship. Okay, so when we're looking at this, if we're going to show that the relationship is a proportional relationship, we need to show that for each hour, it doesn't matter how many hours she works, it's still going to be the same each hour. So let's look at this. So hours money. Let's do it like this. Let's say she works any number of these hours. She works one hour, two hour, three hour, four hour, five hour. And in green we're going to put the money. So for one hour she'd work, she'd get $12. Two would be 24, three would be 36, four would be 48, five would be 60 bucks. And what we need to show is that all of them boil down to the same proportion.
Do they all break down to the same number? So for example, here's what I'm going to do. This is going to be $12 one hour. Let's look at this one. 24 divided by 2 equals $12 one hour. Okay, so I'm going to circle these in this purple color. $12 an hour. $12 an hour. Let's do another one. 3 to 36. So 36 over 3 equals $12 one hour. Okay, circle it in the pink color because it's the same proportion. Jump, up, jump over here. 4 to 48. It's 48 over 4 equals $12 one hour. So you see how all these reduce to the same fraction? Same fraction. Okay, so $12, one hour. 60 over 5 equals $12, one hour. Okay, so they all break down to the same number. That's a proportional relationship. So if we're going to write an equation, it's going to be something like this. Money equals. How much money do we make? And we know we've got to have hours in there somewhere. Okay, so hours times 12. Well, that's kind of an equation. So we could say uh, money equals x times 12, where x is the number of hours. Okay, so 12x equals my dollars. So 12x equals dollars. x is hours. Okay, so that's how this works. Here's an example for you on bikes. 15 bicycles are produced each hour at the Speedy Bike Works. Show that the relationship between the number of bikes produced and, and the number of <laughs> house should be hours. Is a proportional relationship the right equation for the relationship? See if you can do that one, and I'll see you next time.